Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, August the uh, 27th. It's looking like SPY is at all time highs. And I'm very, I'm going to be very cautious around here. Um, I'm just uh, going to, you know, sit back, relax. Let's see uh, where we get a signal on that five minute chart and then go from there, guys. Welcome back to another great week of trading. It's looking like SPY is just, um, gosh, it is ripping. It's ripping up, ripping higher. But uh, still, it doesn't matter where the um, where the uh, ETF goes, where SPY goes, or the markets. It doesn't matter. I'm going to wait for my signals to tell me, to help me um, with an entry. They do really good. And it, look, it does look a little bit toppy here uh, per the uh, indicators. But again, the indic indicators do not dictate the uh, price. It's the other way around. Uh, but to me, it does seem like it's a little bit toppy. And it might come down a little bit before actually going back up. And gosh, it's already up $1.47 from yesterday, or excuse me, from Friday's close. So it's up huge. It's up big. Interesting enough, trading sideways, but it's not going much higher. Per the uh, full stow here, it was correct in that it was a little bit on the uh, toppy side so it's either my in my opinion and i don't normally do this but my opinion is i think it's going to consolidate around here or it might uh, uh drop down uh, before hitting higher uh, i am looking for a trade to the upside uh, versus the downside nothing is telling me that um you know this might go down south but again, anything can happen and it's going to be a while if it does go down. If we are trading puts, it's going to be a while until we do trade puts. So uh, still keeping an eye uh, on this uh, pivot here, hoping that it breaks out above it. It is uh, starting to produce a signal here. I don't like it. Um, it doesn't seem that strong, um, but um, just let's let's just be patient here. I'm going to watch it. Um, again, I don't like this signal here. Um, I might just uh, let this one go. I don't like it here. I still don't like it here. There's just something about it is telling me not to um, purchase. It doesn't seem strong enough. And um, yep, there, there it is. It's, it's, it didn't stick. I like this one a little bit better. Again, let's just be patient. Let's see where it goes from here. Alrighty, I did go ahead and buy. I bought the 289 calls that expire in two days. I bought them at 90 cents. Bought them at 90 cents. I'm looking for 10, um, excuse me, I'm looking for 9 cent move. So I already have a, a sell order in at 99 cents. Let's see if we can get filled 92 by 94. Looking good, guys. Wow, 96 is on the ask. It's uh, definitely moving. 99 cents is on the ask. Holding my breath here because it got really close to selling out. I was actually on the uh, ask there for just a little bit. And now it's coming down just a little bit. It's okay. Boy, it got all the way up there. It's already back down 92 by 94. Um, it, it seems like it's holding here. Now on the bid is 89. So down in the red. Well, I'm even now. We're gonna see what it does here, and if it doesn't, um, if it doesn't hold these levels, I'm gonna sell out. There we go. Now I'm feeling really good here. 94 by 95. I canceled my 99 cent order, and I just have my finger on the trigger to sell out as a market sell. It's 95 by 97 at this time. Okay, guys, I sold at 96 cents. I, uh, I couldn't handle it any anymore. I have a feeling it, it's having a really tough time right at these levels, all-time highs, of course. I have a feeling it's going to blow up, but I just didn't want to risk it. Um, I had a little bit more money than, than, than I wanted to. 96 cents I sold, bought at 90 cents, sold at 96 cents. Um, I should have just kept my sell order at 99 cents. It, I actually saw the ask flash up to a uh, dollar. So um, um, I'm good with this trade. I'm very good. I just wasn't 
patient enough. I couldn't handle the uh, the roller coaster. And this is exactly what I was talking to uh, to you guys about. Um, you know, in all of my videos, it's the emotional aspect of trading that make makes it so hard uh, to trade sometimes. And it's so easy to paper trade. It's so easy to paper trade. Oh, as I'm saying this, there it goes, 98 cents by a dollar. There it is. There it is. 99 cents on the bid, everybody. 99 cents on the bid. You saw it here. My goodness, I, I can't believe that. <laughs> I should have just stuck with the 99 cents. I am really like, I'm so excited about this. Um, I'm just, I'm really excited because I'm able to actually determine a good signal. Um, maybe from a bad signal, we'll see, time will tell, but I'm really super excited about this, guys. I can't even tell you how excited about this uh, I am. Um, I made money on the trade. That's all that matters. 99 cents by a dollar two, guys. You saw it right here, called it, um, called it as it was happening. Really excited about this, guys. I can't even tell you. Um, but I'm done. I'm out, made my money, and now I'm going to get ready for the day. I'm going to go have my cup of coffee, um, knowing that I made money in the stock market. But thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I know this might have been like a longer video than, than usual. Look at that, a dollar two by a dollar four, guys. Oh my gosh, that that's just that's phenomenal. Really, really cool, guys. See you guys again tomorrow. We're gonna try to do this each and every day. For I have a really good strategy on my hands. Let's continue this, guys. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get notified the moment that I upload a video. Talk to you guys tomorrow.